Ah, well, it's morning time, and I uh, made a quick pit stop to take a look at this fence. Look at this guy. So we built this from brand new, well, not the post. This There was an old fence here. It was an old kind of broken down fence, and it, uh, it needed to be replaced, so completely replaced this guy with some new cedar, and then sealed it last weekend. Uh, sprayed it down, so I just wanted to come over and take a look at it and see, uh, see that it look, looks good. And it does, I think. I think this thing looks really sweet. Yep. It's all dry. I just wanted to make sure that maybe I didn't need another coat on it. I wanted to see it. Now that it was all dry for a couple days. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll probably do another coat in the springtime too, but, um, but there it is. That's a nice fence. All cedar. Sweet. All right, we're at the shop. So here it is. We got the... The trailer ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to rock and roll. We're gonna crank up some tunes. Saw's ready to rock. Uh, everything's uh, prepared, so let's do this thing. We're gonna basically gonna uh, make three boxes. So there's there's a wide box in the front that goes uh, right before the wheel wells. And then there's gonna be a box that fits inside the wheel wells, and then there's gonna be a bigger box at the end because because we can't really make this all in one because it shrinks up by the wheel well. So we're gonna do that in three sections basically. And then we're gonna square it all up and make sure that all of those sections are perfect. So let's get rocking and rolling. That finished up. Here it is. There's the front side of the floor. All of the, the Floor joists run along the frame members of the trailer, so that's all that's all gonna sit really well. And you can kind of get an idea better now how I was talking earlier about how that spray foam is gonna come and fill it up in here, and it's gonna fill down underneath this and it's gonna attach itself. So all of this is gonna be one continuous spray foamed clump, and this floor will never it will never move, it will never come off of that uh, that trailer, I mean, it's permanently adhered right to the trailer. So I'm gonna do the back section and the center section and uh, and this floor is gonna be ready for spray foam. And that's gonna happen, uh, I think, tomorrow, so cool. All right, uh, we're done with that. We got the whole thing framed all the way through. So from the front, the back to the front, the front to the back, however you want to call that. And next, I'm going to be using these little brackets. I'm going to install these so I can mount this down to the trailer. And I would say that these are in in the way that I'm doing this. This is more securing the wood to the trailer. So then when I go through and spray foam this, when I when we fill up these cavities all full. Um, the the wood won't lift up or push around because that spray foam actually expands and as it expands it's going to move this wood around so we don't want these frames to to lift up off the trailer or we don't want them to shift from back and forth so so basically these uh these brackets are just going to hold this whole thing down in place and i'm going to go through and square this up make sure that it's all square from the front to the back each individual uh box basically that I built through there, so I'm gonna square it all up and make sure that it's all good. Um, and then just fasten this down. As I'm going, fastening it down, making sure that everything is, is nice and square. So if this floor is square, I can use that to make sure that my walls are square and then everything else is square um, all the way through. So I, I wanna make sure that it's square, which is why we do that. So the, the trailer is leveled, so then we have a nice flat surface. We can install this floor which goes on and then that's as long as that's mounted to the trailer securely and doesn't move um, then that's also a level surface and then we can build our walls which will be level plumb and square and then uh, and then you have a good building so um, and it really let's say let's talk about that really quick too so um, as far as framing these are all 16 inches on center so so they're 16 inches apart let me grab a tape measure oh I don't have it yeah I do so they're six 16 inches apart, right? So that's standard framing, 16 inches apart, 16 on the center. So they go all the way along. And I always pulled from this one and went the whole way. So I see I see some people, um, what they'll do is, is they'll take their 16 inches. Okay, so they grab your tape measure like this. 
driver tape measure and you got 16 inches so you'll mark it and then you mark it and then you mark it. Well, every time, let's say you're an eighth off every time. So let's say this one is an eighth inch bigger and an eighth inch bigger. So by the time you get eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, by the time you get here, if you pulled and it was an eighth off every time, you'd be an inch off right now. So if as long as you pull from the same one and mark your 16s out the entire way, pulling from the same exact starting position and following those 16s on each one, you're gonna have um, basically a perfect floor, a perfect layout, that's what you want. You wanna make sure that you're pulling from the same one and all the way through. Even if you have to go get a 100 foot tape measure, so I have a, a 25 foot that I keep in my pocket and then I have a 100 footer, so then I can get this whole way because this is 28 feet. So I use a 100 footer to make sure that I can still pull from that one and every single one of these is gonna be laid out on the same line all the way through 16 inches throughout. So. I mean, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. So I could be, if I was an uh, eighth of an inch off of each board, I could be like three inches off by the end of it. And that, that's going to transfer to my plywood. So each one of these, so like one, two, three, and this fourth one, that's four feet. So every three, 16 inches is 48 inches. So. It's gonna line up in the center there. It's gonna cover that one, cover that one, and then cover half of this up. So as long as these are all lined up, my plywood will sit all the way through. Because if that plywood doesn't sit in there, it's gonna fall off the edge here, and then you won't have, you know, as you walk on it, you'll be able to feel that. So you gotta make sure that that's all good. Um, that's basic framing. I don't know, there's probably plenty of YouTube videos for that, so. Anyway, so the next thing I'm gonna do is just go uh, through and mount this thing down, secure it to the trailer, so then when I go through and spray foam, it's not gonna lift up and, and uh, <laughs> that's next. Well, there we have it, it's done. Um, I got the floor ready for spray foam. And uh, that's just about it. I did add some extra blocking in here. Um, if you can see this, you probably saw, you watched the little clips um, as I was building it. And I added those in. Um, I went on the outsides and measured down and I was 16 on center on all of the 2x4s. But a couple of these have a little bit of a, a bow in them. Um, and usually that's not bad. If you were going to build a regular house or just a standard frame floor, you would go down your sides, get your 16 on centers, make sure that it's all framed right. And then when you put your plywood on, you would move these around just a little bit. You'd be able to flex them so then they would line up with where you wanted them to be on your plywood, which wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a bad deal at all. But since I'm going to be filling this cavity completely up with spray foam, um, where they are is where they are now. I, couldn't, I can't move them once that spray foam is done. So if I were to leave these uh, without some kind of blocking in here to make sure that they are... 16 on center down the center too. I got to make sure that measurement is the same down the center too. Um, if that if that wasn't like that, it would it would really be bad for when I come time to um, to lay the plywood down because it wouldn't line up uh, on the center of these studs, these floor joists, or whatever you want to call them. Um, it wouldn't it wouldn't line up there because there would be there would be bows and it would be off. So and that's and that's just not good. Nobody wants that. So. So there it is. I did run a little bit of spray foam, just the hand spray foam in some cracks, in some spots that I needed to get it. Because these guys, when they come, it'll be a big nozzle, it'll be a big gun, and they're going to spray this like there's no tomorrow. Uh, and that's, uh, that's a little bit more, and I didn't want that shooting all out these little cracks and stuff. And we'll go through and plastic off. I got some tape tape around it, tape around the trailer, and we'll go through and plastic that all off to make sure that uh, no extra spray foam gets on the on the trailer itself. So. That, uh, that, that kind of wraps it up for this part. Um, you know, I'll do the spray foam. I think they're going to come in a couple of days. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, they emailed me and had a, a little bit of a setback because they're not with, done with their job. So I tried to get it lined up so they would be here tomorrow, but it sounds like they won't be. So uh, not a big deal. It won't affect you unless you're following along. Um, it'll be another couple of days before I get that done. So, so that's it. There it is. There's a subfloor. If you have any questions, oh, I'll wait. That's kind of loud. <laughs> if you have any weight, <laughs> so 
So I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, uh, definitely email me, ryan at midwesttinyliving.com. Uh, make sure to click the like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to watch more. Uh, also, let me know what else you want in the videos. If you want more uh, in-depth information or if you want less in-depth information, that's fine too. Uh, either way, just uh, put it in the comments or, or shoot me an email and, and I look forward to hearing from you. So that's it. Um, have a good one.